What's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Rusty and we are back out on the road truck driving. It is 8 a.m. in the morning. Our truck is, you know, right there getting offloaded. We are in Huntsville, Alabama. And yeah, pretty, pretty sick little view here. Woke up nice little fog going on i'm not really sure exactly what this is this might be just grass or it might be onions not sure exactly but it's peaceful it's nice i have two trucks behind me i'm getting offloaded right meow and yeah we already have our pickup it is 8 a.m and this load came out of savannah georgia yeah deadhead like always 145 miles from jacksonville and yeah it was like 30,000 pounds so it wasn't too bad 500 miles plus the deadhead like 650 miles total and this load paid out 1500 bucks like always guys i'm pretty transparent with prices for you so there you go a little lucky streak right here for you guys it's kind of sucks out of florida it's always like this two dollars thirty cents a mile that's pretty much what this load equaled out but out of here it's gonna be way better like always alabama treated me pretty well these past couple months so i keep coming back to her yeah we're offloading and literally one mile from here i'm gonna try to do like a fast forward literally one mile from here is my pickup so pretty lucky for me we'll go pick up and then we are heading back east to south carolina oh yeah they are almost done and yeah guys my setup is pretty much the same like always actually i forgot to show you i will show you that i have this uh ac unit up there the zero breeze machine we got some new stuff for it i might show you guys later and then i think you guys seen it from my other video the camera's still here on my blind side but yeah let's go ahead and get this thing started and head up to our pickup What nice weather. It is so nice, 55 degrees outside. The clouds are kind of like, not shining all the way, but it looks like it's about to storm. What a beautiful day, guys. And I'm having a pretty blessed day myself at the pickup already. Literally took me five minutes and I was wrong. It wasn't one mile, it was 1.7 miles away. Lucky me, right? Yeah, awesome. This load is only gonna be about 500 miles and we are in the central time zone. So I think we will bypass the Atlanta traffic. I'm not 100% sure. I am hoping for that because you know, everybody knows that. Do not like uh, Atlanta. So yeah, they're gonna load us up. It's about 3,500 or wait, no, 35,000 pounds yeah this is uh some sort of plant right here right there whatever this says right there i think they do solar panel stuff hopefully it's not solar panels yeah it's it's heavy but it's okay if it's 35 i'm not gonna scale up not a big deal since i forgot to do my pti over there just doing it right here real quick the front steers i like to kick a little bit and then also check i have a valve stem right there but the drives i usually only check you know manually with a little psh, psh, you know what i'm saying every every two days or so usually they're okay and i got self-inflator system back here on my trailer so the self-inflating system's right there so i don't have to really can't manually check it but the only way to do it is just do that make sure at night when you wake up none of them are like halfway empty or something like that 
But those self-inflator systems, if there is an issue, there's a light right here that turns on it. You can read some instructions right there, but yeah, that light's gonna turn on if there's an issue, meaning there's air escaping of one of the tires way too fast and the system can't regenerate enough. So that light will turn on indicating there's a nail in a tire or there's something wrong with the system. So it's pretty nice. All right, kind of low pallets. Don't really need to tie it up, but all righty. We are loaded. It's not bad, it is a little heavy, but my tandems are pulled all the way to the front since it's not a, like a full truck load. But we are on our way, boys. It's only an eight hour trip, awesome. It's only less than 500 miles, perfect. I love these trips. And like always, guys, in the videos, in the end, I will tell you my rate for every load. You know my rate when I just dropped off, and you're gonna find out this rate. Obviously, at the end of the video. Somebody waving the yellow and blue flags outside a dealership. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but my favorite colors right now, yellow and blue. Well, actually, you know, red, white, blue is obviously the best, but yellow and blue definitely comes in second. Gotta get my drugs, you know what I'm saying? Got my drugs and uh, my toilet plunger right there. Now it's time to roll out. We're trying to make it three hours straight into, I think it's three or four hours straight into Atlanta so we don't hit Atlanta traffic, but I doubt it. I doubt it we can make it, but we'll see. I thought I could escape her, but I cannot. Nobody can actually. Five lanes this way, five lanes that way. All stand still. Welcome to Atlanta. And yes, I am like on the second from the left lane. Usually this lane always, always moves fastest than faster, fastest? Did I say faster? Faster than those lanes over there. I've learned that from a long time of truck driving and which is two years, not a long time. But yeah, this is the best lane. Everybody says, well, you're not supposed to be on this lane. And I tell you, sir, mind your own business. You know what I'm saying? All right, shower time, well shower time, fuel time, fuel time. How much you wanna bet this is gonna be a thousand dollars? All right boys, just took a shower. Took a nice short two hour shower. The sun is going down. So yeah, we have two more hours until we get to our destination. 
a lot of people ask when do you have time to shower if you always park at the receiver and shipper and go to sleep well now you guys know and whoever's interested here's my fuel receipt it's a little blurry but 800 817 817 dollars and i was at about a quarter tank so to fuel this puppy up at five dollars a gallon we're looking at thousand dollars i was kind of right just didn't fill her up all the way i guess i don't know that's kind of cringe thousand dollars for fuel Good morning, everybody. It is 8 a.m. And I guess we are ending this video back onto the field. We started it on a field. We're ending it on a field. But this one is in South Carolina. Sun is just coming up. Still cloudy. Same thing as Alabama. Just slight clouds here and there. It's not bad. About 58 degrees. And yeah, getting offloaded now. Literally slept right outside a facility right there. This truck right here was first. Right when I arrived, he was right here. So he's getting offloaded first. That's okay with me. Still pretty great, pretty great day. And yeah, let's talk about this load real quick. This load was about 35,000 pounds and we traveled from around Huntsville, Alabama to South Carolina, south of uh, Columbia and total miles was slightly less than 500 miles and this load exactly paid out $2,000. So yeah, $2,000, that's not bad considering these times with the fuel and all that. And yeah, $4 a mile, that's what I got. And that's pretty great. In my eyes, that's really great, especially for these times. We actually already have a load going to Charleston, picking up from Charleston, sorry, and going to Tennessee. So yeah, go to pick that up as soon as this is offloaded. It's about 85 miles from here. Got a dead head a little bit. It's not as close as my other pickup, which was less than two miles, but you know, you know, it's all good. We are blessed guys living here in America and I think we all just should be happy where we are. And like always guys, appreciate it for watching. Deuces.